Making subgroups in Guild Wars 2 and assigning the buffs that you need to do the amount of damage you are required for most content is very annoying. People leave the squad without telling you which if they were alacrity or quickness and you have to refill and ask everyone, hey, who left? What are we missing in every subgroup? And this is doable by, you know, in under 10 man squad. It's annoying, but it's doable. But if you're in a 50 man squad trying to do a convergence CM, it is super, super hard to organize this. But an add-on has been released that is absolutely great for this and does it kind of automatically. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Go to my Ko-Fi if you want to support my content and go support this creator, of course, as well in the description down below for this beautiful add-on. As you can see here, guys, as you can see here, we have a very interesting add-on. I have a bit of a subgroup, uh, a bit of a squad here ready to go. And if you right-click on people, look at this. You have you can assign them to DPS, Condition DPS, Quickness DPS, Alacrity DPS, Healer, Quickness Healer, Alacrity Healer, Tank, Utility, and Flex. Which essentially means, hey, if it's Flex, it can, they can do whatever they, uh, whatever, whatever they are asked to. And, for example, let's say that I am DPS. It'll look at the DPS icon if they're... Quickness DPS, they're gonna give the Quickness DPS icon, and if they're a luxury healer, they're gonna give the icon there. And it's super, super useful, so, because if this is the case, you're always gonna know if the Quickness one got out of the squad, and they disappeared, hey, you're gonna know, because the Quickness is not gonna, no longer gonna be there, and you can just instantly replace it with someone else, and ask for Quickness. And we also have some other things that are super cool of this add-on, and you can see it right here, in order to join this uh, squad manager, you have to go into RDPS and open squad manager. I'll tell you how to install it later, later in the video. But once you get here, you can see that there's a lot of things happening right here. You can see that you can choose what how many subgroups you have. And in this case, we have one uh, subgroup, right? So in this case, it's going to say, hey, this is the amount of quickness you require, this amount of accuracy you require, and this amount of DPS that you require. If I do this, for example, let's say that I remove the quickness DPS here, it'll tell me, hey, hey, you wait, you need one quickness DPS here. And then you're gonna be like, oh, okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna put it here. Oh, it's ready, you're good. Now I'm gonna put DPSs here as well. And it's gonna tell me that I am indeed correct. And for example, let's say that I put two subgroups, subgroups instead. I'm just gonna drag it here, boom. <clears throat> it's gonna say, hey, you need one quickness DPS or one like DPS or one like heal or one quick heal, right? these two combinations here. So I'm just gonna, well, in this case, I can't redo it because I don't have enough people, but let's say I did. I put um, another quickness DPS here. I say, hey, you're done with this. Now you need just need an Allegri healer. Boom. And now it's gonna say, hey, you need five plus DPS because otherwise you won't have uh, two subgroups, right? And this is super, super useful uh, and super easy to tell what you're missing in each of these subgroups. Now it is kind of annoying <coughs> to actually go here and click on it on everyone, but it also gives you the, uh, the choice of going in here and put, and, you know, for example, in this case, oh no, my bad. If you go in here on the bottom, let me just, uh, let me just close this master and management. We can do that later. If you go here to squad members, you can see that every member is right here and you can just assign them very easily uh, with their, um, with their role. They'll have the account name here and the character name here. Uh, it's very, very useful. Now, there's another thing that you can do to make this automatically. And honestly, this is what I'm going to be doing every time on metas from now on. Because for metas, it is very difficult to know which person is going for quickness, which person is going for alacrity. And what I usually do is I go into the squad message. I put something like, hey, uh, alac DPS go uh, sub 2. Uh, quickness DPS sub 3. Heal... Oh, Heal, um, Quickness, Sub 4, and Heal, Alacrity, Sub 5. And once I do that, everyone joins the group and they assign themselves to the subgroups uh, corresponding to them. And then you kind of be like, oh, this person is this, this person is this, and so on and so on. And what you can do with this add-on is that you can automatically assign certain subgroups for this. For example, I can, been, I can put Subgroup 2 as um, Alac. DPS, I can put sub 3, quickness DPS, sub 4, uh, quick, I like heal, I like heal, uh, sub 5, quickness heal. And now, once I'm, I'm just gonna put none on every one of here, right? And I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna make them disappear so we can actually test this. Once I move one person to subgroup two, they're gonna instantly appear as a lag DPS. Actually, why is it not changing? Okay, I know why this was, it was not working. You have to put assign automatically, and then once I move it here, it'll automatically sort it to alacrity. And then I'm gonna put this one here, and it's gonna assign it to quickness. And look at that, we have one of each. Now I'm gonna put one for healer, one for DPS and quickness heal, and there you go. Now we only need the DPSs, and it automatically does it. Now this is important to say that you before you. Um, actually start assigning people to the actual subgroups later on, you're gonna have to disable this, otherwise this is gonna kinda bug out, right? So I'm gonna disable it, and now we're gonna make our perfect subgroup with the actual um, with the actual uh, DPSs and everything, and we're gonna have you know, alacrity, and the quickness and, and all this other stuff, and you're gonna be fine, right? <coughs> so there you go and this way you have all your subgroups ready to go instantly now how do you actually install it it's very very easy first you do need arc dps you can get that from nexus which is you know i have a guide on that or your Ana manager or just install our dps as a standalone now if you require arc dps just google arc dps go to the delta connected go to the bottom uh it's gonna say here my face is not showing it there you go download here and then download the d3d11.dll and you copy that into your Gilrushi folder and you're done. Now I heavily recommend you to install Nexus instead because it's gonna it's gonna be way better for any of these types of add-ons and updating updating them and everything. But if you want to do it like this, it is fine as well. And after that, you're just gonna have to download this DLL right here. Download the latest version from GitHub. You're just gonna have to go here. Um, Go to RDPS Squadrons and that DLL, download it, and put it on the Guild Wars 2 folder right here. As you can see, I have RDPS uh, right there, right? Uh, installed by just copying it here, and then uh, you have uh, I have the RDPS Squadrons DLL right there. And I have other add ons as well. I have um, Nexus, I have ReEffect, I have a lot of them. So honestly, it was very easy to put this one. Like, I just put it in here and it didn't conflict with anything else. I just put it in there. And it was done. So very, very easy, very, very fast. And if you have any questions, of course, and I'll I'll respond in the in the comments down below. And you and definitely leave this uh, this Reddit post as well, uh, because hey, you know there might be some information that you require from here. There's some requirements that you might need uh, and other stuff. So very, very good. And uh, yeah, it's 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 that easy, guys. It's that easy. And this is honestly such a game changer because. Before, you would never do this because it was too annoying. But now, every meta group, every um, open world group should have this. There's no reason not to assign Alacrity DPS, Quickness DPS, and all this other stuff to make not only the game more fun because you're going to have all your boons, but you're also going to have uh, better damage, which is going to make it super fast and, of course, also make you more gold. With this, Swan is going to be easier, Epic is going to be easier, and all the metas that take a long time will be faster, making them way more fun. So hey, come to my meta train on Monday. It's gonna be insane with this. And we're gonna have permanent boons at all times. Uh, and it's gonna be super, super fun to play that like that. And of course, we also have the um, leaderboard meta train where the best DPS on each meta gets gold. Uh, so we're definitely gonna come back to that as soon as I make my perfect Janther Wilds meta train. For now, we're still we still need a bit of um, a bit of uh, what's the word of experimentation with it but with this whew, it's gonna be super fast and i'm super happy with it so uh definitely go support the uh the person who did this i'll leave all the links in the description down below they really have made a complete change with this uh the game will never be the same uh, I'm, and i'm not kidding I, i'm not clickbaiting end game in guild wars 2 has always been having a bit of a problem in organization we have quickness alacrity other games don't have that wow doesn't have that and I mean, they have it easier. They have tank, healer, DPS. So much easier to actually uh, organize. And every game has that too. What is quickness and alacrity? Uh, unless you play Guild Wars 2, you're not going to know. And this, this is going to help it a lot. And this add-on making it so much easier and actually in some ways teaching new players how it works, it's going to, I think, change everything. And for the better. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions about the add-on, please tell me. 
uh, I'll leave um, a comment in down below if something changes or I got something wrong or whatever. Pin comment. And um, yeah, see you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.